Welcome back to Tales of Berseria Story Recap. We arrive back in Logris to head to the capital where we are going to find the Bloodwings and learn about what their message is for us. Pretty much there's nothing but skits this entire time. It was a whole day of really no story anything, really. Here is actually a side quest. We got one of the first parts of Videl's Omega Elixir. And Magalu can speak with dogs. Her and Velvet have a failed comedy attempt. And that's actually a long chain of quests. But we finally do talk to the Bloodwings. They want us to smuggle someone out of the capital. And we find out that because they smell like fragrant wood that only royals can have, well, it's a royal. Also, there's uh, a domain suppressing malevolence, it would seem, seems to go over us. It hasn't talked about it since, but yeah, that's probably going to come up. Here's a royal. It's the Prince Percival himself. And he has a griffin with him. Remember that gigantic griffin that was locked up under the abbey? Yeah, it's that thing. But it turns into like a regular one. We go back to the prison island, and we're going to take that back over, because why not? And uh, they find out that there's a thing called venomization the Abbey was doing. So remember when we were stuck in prison for three years at the very beginning of the game, and being fed demons? Yeah, that's a process called venomization to make one demon even stronger. And hey, look, that happens... Yeah, yeah, I've seen... That happens to be on top of an Earth Pulse. Oh no, Ethereum. Yeah, it's the stuff we've been talking about recently. They were using us as one of the Ethereans. So, yeah. Uh, we take out the knight and take over the island. Woot woot. Also, uh, you know who? Eleanor finally comes clean that she's a spy. And completely clean. And everybody's not terribly shocked. And we look for more Earth Pulses. This Earth Pulse leads us out into an ocean nearby to the west. And we go fishing. No one has any luck except for Velvet, who pulls out a giant pot, pours out a bunch of monsters. At the very end, we fight a small boss and get some Ori Calcum. We're going to use that Ori Calcum to make a new sword, finally. Also, we're headed off to Stoneberry Village to look at a new demon. It looks like some type of lizard, flying lizard, dragon thing. So yeah, that's all that happened. Thanks for tuning in.